God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Come, let us adore our King and God. Come, let us adore Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us adore about down to the only Lord Jesus Christ, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. You are very great, O Lord, my God. Clothed in pomp and brilliance, arrayed with light as with a cloak, stretching out the sky as a tent cloth, covering your lofty holes with water. You make the clouds your conveyance, you search on the wings of the wind. You make spirits your messengers, and flaming fires in your attendants. You settle the earth on its firm foundation, it shall stand and move from age to age. If the abyss covers it like a garment, waters stand over the mountains. At your rebuke they will take to flight, at the rain of your thunder they will fear. They hardle the hills and run down the dales to the place you have chosen for them. You have set up a boundary not to be passed. They shall never return to cover the earth. Down in the gullies you make springs to rise. Water shall go down between the mountains. They shall give drink to the beasts of the field, while asses will seek them to quench the thirst. The birds of the sky will abide by them. From among the rocks they will raise their song. From the lofty holes you will refresh the mountains. The earth shall be fed with the fruit of your works. You make green pastures for the cattle, and food plants for the service of men, so that bread may be brought forth from the earth, and wine that gladdens the heart of men, so that oil may put a gleam upon his face and that bread may strengthen the heart of man. The trees of the plain will be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. The sparrows will bid their nests in them, and the herons will call them their home. To the deer below high mountains, to Robin's the shelter of the rocks. You have made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness and it is night, where all the forest creatures prowl around. Young lions rear for their prey, and call out to God for their needs. As the sun rises, they will come together and lay themselves down in their dens. Men will go out to his labor and work until eventide. How great are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is filled with your creatures, and the wide and open sea itself, within and there are countless creeping things, living beings small and large. Upon and there are ships are sailing, and the great beasts you made to have fun. All of them look 
up to you to give them the food in your time. You provide and they gather up. You open your hands and they are full. You hide your face and they cringe. You suspend their breath, they die and return to the dust. You send forth your breath and they live. You renew the face of the earth. May the Lord's glory endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in His works. He looks upon the earth and makes it quake. He touches the mountains and the smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God as long as I last. Would that my thoughts be pleasing to Him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. May the sinners vanish from the earth, and may the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord of my soul. The sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness and it is night. How great are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have brought them all. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace for the high, for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the well being of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most holy universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most blessed Patriots, Vyaroslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Boris, our God loving Bishop Bohdan, the reverend priest who did the Yachinate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our civil authorities and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for those living within them in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea and land, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for all our parishioners in home, nursing homes, in hospitals, and those who are sick at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all people suffering and affected by the deadly virus, for their health and salvation, from all, for all the medical staff who are helping them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that we be delivered from all our, uh, <clears throat> help and save, have mercy and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remember your most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. 
Glory to you is you all glory, honor and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. I lifted up my eyes to the hills. When shall help come to me? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to stumble. He who is your guardian will not fall asleep. Behold, he will neither sleep nor slumber. The watcher over Israel. The Lord shall keep watch over you. The Lord is your shelter at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor shall the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from every evil. The Lord shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your coming and your going, henceforth and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. <clears throat> again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remember, your most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us command ourselves and one another in our life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the might, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. You shall eat of your hands, neighbor. Blessed are you, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your house. Your children like all of them around your table. The Lord in this way shall be blessed to the person who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you out of Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, your most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend our, ourselves and one another in the whole life, to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a gracious God, and you love mankind, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you mark iniquities, O Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. 
I have waited for you as you have commanded. My soul patiently relies on your promise, for it has trusted in the Lord. From the morning watch until night, let us spread out trust in the Lord. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenty for redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord during the hours of night. Lift up your hands toward the sanctuary and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the maker of heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. <clears throat> Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, your most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us command ourselves and one another in a whole life. To Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are God, the God of mercy and salvation, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, I have cried out to you. Just man chasing me with justice and reprove me. May the oil of the wicked never touch my head. Yet even then shall I pray for their welfare. The rulers were swallowed near the rock. My words will be heard, for they were sweet. As a lump of clay is broken on the ground, so their bones were strewn near the grave. To you, O oh Lord, my eyes are lifted up, and you have I hoped. Let not my soul be lost. Keep from me from the snare that was set up for me, and from the stumbling blocks of wicked men. The wicked shall fall into their own nets, while I remain alone until I can escape. 
Fall with the Lord, there is mercy, and within him there is plentiful redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Having completed the forty days, they bring profit to our soul. We beseech you in your love for mankind. Grant us also to behold the whole, the holy week of your passion, that in it we may glorify your mighty deeds. And your ineffable work and salvation for our sake. With one mind and voice we sing to you. O Lord, glory to you. Praise the Lord, all your nations, proclaim his glory. All you people, O Lord, your voice destroyed the dominion of Hades, and the power of your word raised unto him who had been devil days dead. Lazarus became the saving first fruits of the generation of the world. All things are possible to your King of all. O Lord, bestow upon your servants forgiveness and great mercy. Strong in the love of the Lord for us eternally will his truth endure. O Lord, wishing, wishing to, to give assurance of your resurrection from the dead to your disciples, you came to Bethany to awaken Lazarus, weeping for him in accordance with your human nature. You raised him up who had been for days dead, and he cried out to you, O Savior. Blessed are you, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Having completed the forty days that bring profit to our souls, let us cry out. Rejoice, O city of Bethany, the home of Lazarus. Rejoice, Martha and Mary, his sisters. For tomorrow Christ comes to bring life to your dead brother by his word. Hearing his voice, bitter Hades will tremble, tremble and groan aloud. And it will release Lazarus bound in burial clothes. Amazed by the miracle, and multitude of Jews will come to meet him with palms and branches. Though their fathers look upon him with malicious envy, yet you shall the children praise him, saying, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel.
Wisdom be attentive. Oh, Wisdom. A reading from the book of Genesis. Let us be attentive. Brother, at that time when Jacob had finished giving these instructions to his sons, he drew his feet into the bed, breathed his last, and was taken to his kindred. Joseph threw himself on his father's face and wept over him as he kissed him. Then he ordered the physicians and his servants to embalm his father. When they embalmed Israel, they spent 40 days at it, for that is the full period of embalming. And the Egyptians mourned him for 70 days. When that period of mourning was over, Joseph spoke to Pharaoh's courtiers. Please do me this favor, he said, and convey to Pharaoh this request of mine. Since my father at the point of death made me promise on oath to bury him in the tomb, that he had prepared for himself in the land of Canaan, may I go up there to bury my father and then come back. Pharaoh replied, go and bury your father, as he made you promise an oath. So Joseph left to bury his father, and with him went all of Pharaoh's officials, who were senior members of his court, and all the other dignitaries of Egypt, as well as Joseph's whole household, his brothers, and his father's household. Only their children and their flock and herds were left in the region of Goshen. Chariots, too, and charioteers went up with him. It was a very large retinue. Then they arrived at Gorin Hata, which is beyond the Jordan, which held there a very great and solemn memorial service. Joseph observed seven days of mourning for his father. When the Canaanites who inhabited the land saw the mourning of Goranhata, 
They said, this is a solemn funeral the Egyptians are having. That is why the place is named Abel Mizraim. It is beyond the Jordan. Thus Jacob's sons did for him as they had instructed them. They carried him to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave in the field that Abraham had brought for a burial ground from Ephron the Hittite. After Joseph had buried his father, he returned to Egypt together with his brothers and all who had gone up with him for the burial of his fathers. Now that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers became fearful and thought, Suppose Joseph has been nursing a grudge against us and now plans to pay us back in full for all the wrong we did him. So they approached Joseph and said, Before your father died, he gave us these instructions. You shall say to Joseph, Jacob begs you to forgive the criminal wrongdoings of your brothers who treated you so cruelly. Please, therefore, forgive them the crime that we, the servants of your father's God, committed. When they spoke these words to him, Joseph broke into tears. Then his brothers proceeded to filing themselves down before him and said, Let us be your slaves. But Joseph replied to them, Have no fear. Can I take the place of God? Even though you meant harm to me, God meant it for good, to achieve his present end, the survival of many people. Therefore, have no fear. I will provide for you and for your children. But thus speaking kindly to them, he reassured them. Joseph remained in Egypt together with his families. He lived 110 years. He saw Ephraim's children to the third generation and the children of Manasseh's son, Makar, um, also born on Joseph's knees. Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die. God will surely take care of you and lead you out of this land to the land he had promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then putting the sons of Israel under oath, he continued, When God thus takes care of you, you must bring my bones up with you from this place. Joseph died at the age of 110. He was embalmed and laid to rest in a coffin in Egypt. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. He that dwells in Jerusalem cannot be shaken. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. Wisdom be attentive. The light of Christ enlightens everyone who comes into this world. Wisdom. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Let us be attentive. Brethren, thus says the Lord, open your mouth in behalf of the dumb, and for the rights of the destitute, open your mouth, decree what is just, defend the needy and the poor. When one finds worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him not good and not evil all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and makes cloth with skillful hands. Like merchant ships, she secures her provisions from afar. She rises while it is still night and distributes food to her household. She picks out a field to purchase. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She is girt about with strength and sturdy are her arms. She endures the success of her dealings, at night her lamp is undimmed. She puts her hands to the staff, and her fingers ply the spindle. 
She reaches out her hands to the poor and extends her arms to the needy. She fears not the snow for her household. All her charges are doubly clothed. She makes her own coverlets, fine linen and purple are her clothing. Her husband is prominent at the city gates as he sits with the elders of the land. She makes garments and sells them and stocks the merchants with belts. She is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs at the days to come. She opens her mouth in wisdom and on her tongue is kindly counsel. She watches the conduct of her household and eats not her food in idleness. Her children rise up and praise her. Her husband, too, extols her. He says, many are the women of proven worth, but you have had excel excelled them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a reward of her labors and let her works praise her at the city gates. <clears throat> Let my prayer rise like incense before you and the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. Let my, my prayer rise like incense of my supplication when I cry out to you. Let my prayer rise like incense Said a God, oh, be for my. <clears throat> Said a God, oh Lord, be for my mouth. And set a seal upon the doors of my lips. Let my prayer rise like incense. Good evening. 
in sacrifice. In in my heart, away from evil dealings and from finding excuses for the sins I commit. God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for most holy universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, our most uh, blessed Patriarch Sviatoslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Boris, our God-loving Bishop Bogdan, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh. We also pray for our civil authorities and follow all in the service of our country. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for the people here present and all of our parishioners who await your great and abundant mercy for those who have been kind to us, and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. 
All be faithful again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Through the gift of your Christ, with whom you are blessed, together you are most holy, Gracious in life giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Now the Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious and presentive I gifts offered here, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God in his love for mankind may receive them on his holy and heavenly and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and that he may send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this holy evening be, may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. 
For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace for the world, let us beseech the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. For a Christian painless and a shame and peaceful end of our life, and for a good account of the judgment, uh, to fear some judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Having asked for unity of the faith and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and a whole life to Christ our God. To you, our Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to the call you, God of heaven, Father, and say. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. Bow your hands to the Lord. To you, o Lord. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Oh. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive, holy presentify things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. O taste, O taste and see how good is the Lord, how good is the
believe and confess, O Lord, that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not speak of the mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, not cause my judgment or condemnation, but rather the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned countless times. Forgive me, O Lord. Come to receive. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia. Let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed is our God, who has enlightened and sanctified us. Always, now, and forever, and ever. Amen. We give you thanks, O Christ our God, for you came to make us partakers of your most pure body and most precious blood poured out for all the world for the remission of sins your mystery of salvation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Having received the divine, holy, most pure, heavenly, and life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that this whole evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us commend ourselves and one another and whole life to who Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are his vacation, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. O Master and the ruler of all, you created everything in wisdom, and through your inexpressible providence and great goodness. You have brought us to these most holy days for the purification of our souls and bodies, the mastery of our passions, and the hope of resurrection. 
During forty days you gave Moses, your faithful servant, the tablets of the law, inscribed by your divine hands. Grant, O gracious one, that we also may fight the good fight, finish the course of the fast, and persevere in the true faith. Give us power to crush the heads of invisible serpents by conquering sin, that without reproach we might worship your holy resurrection. For how blessed and glorified is your most honorable, majestic name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to your Christ, our God of hope. Glory be to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, give a blessing. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our Father among the saints, Gregory the Great, Pope of Rome, and all the saints, will have mercy and save us for his good and loves mankind. Amen. Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of discouragement and inactivity of domineering others and empty talk. Give to me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O oh Lord and King, let me look upon my own sins and refrain from judging others, for you are blessed now and forever and ever. Amen. For us you suffered your bitter passion, O Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. For us you suffered your bitter passion. Oh, 